Good morning, folks. Let's take a look at the upcoming sights in the morning sky. Venus already burning brightly in the pre-sunrise hours, and over the next few days, Jupiter will join her. As they say goodbye to one another, the moon will swing past to say goodbye to the conjunction. Jupiter's getting brighter and more visible because it's moving away from the sun from our perspective. That's it exiting with Mercury coming in on Soho Lasco C3. Mercury will conjoin the sun before the coming supermoon and be relevant through the lunar event. Top quake of the day was a six-pointer that struck Indonesia. Perhaps more relevant is the Fuego volcano in Guatemala. Panic has struck nearby villages as new eruptions invoke memories of mass evacuations two years ago. A bit of catch-up quick for newcomers. The Mars orbiters have made moves to be on a specific side of Mars come October 19th, the side opposite Comet Siding Spring, which will come much closer to Mars than any known comet has come to Earth, and which dwarfs Comet Ison in closeness by comparison. We have two videos explaining the approach and possibilities, and on our channel page you can scroll down to find those videos in the Comet Siding Spring playlist. But if you are new here, the other three playlists are much more helpful and will get you caught up in literally minutes. The Valuable Information playlist is a broad shot of topics that we regularly discuss and which will be relevant to our lives in the coming years. Two new ones were added to this playlist the last two days including how to use the earth wind map. The climate change playlist is the most important. It's just my opinion that climate change is extremely important, but about 17 years of our mathematical modeling at the IPCC has failed to come anywhere close to reality, and this requires a more careful look, especially as some are using the cooling that has actually taken place recently as ammunition to say the climate is no issue. Well, it absolutely is. We just have to work out the kinks in our understanding. Finally, we have the Sun series. So, for example, when a sunspot group comes out of nowhere like it did last night, you'll know where to look, how to classify the sunspots, why there are bright flashes above the active region and what those looping lines are and how they relate to space weather. It may literally be the most you can learn about the sun in under one hour anywhere on the net. Let's go to the tropics watch. Bertha in the Atlantic has weakened and will swing east towards Europe soon. In the Pacific, we watch the two Hawaiian threats, Izel and Julio. The first, Izel, will hit today with a maximum sustained winds of about 90 miles per hour. Julio is right behind her with winds at about 85 miles per hour. But something interesting. Does it look like there's another system to the west that is even more powerful? Indeed. That's Genevieve. How that's even possible is somewhat baffling, but she is the strongest at 135 miles per hour. Very interesting. Finally, Heilong began churning north. Southern Japan needs to be on alert for the impact here this weekend. Cosmic ray readings. Neutrons still hours behind, but showing a small jolt to the cosmic ray flux. Nothing to get worked up about, but definitively a surge from the galactic surroundings there. The solar wind is slowing down. You can see it as the yellow readings creep lower. One of the results is a smoother electron flux as space weather instability wanes, but with elevated energy levels by comparison. The solar flaring is dismal. You can actually find out why in the climate change series. And a big part of this current weakness is the sunspot inactivity. In the departing southern group, I was eyeing this central region for delta class, but it's decaying and be sure to never confuse the penumbral magnetics with umbral magnetics, otherwise you might accidentally call this one up front a delta. The central northern sunspots are separated magnetically and not mixing a whole lot, and even that explosively growing new group on the north hasn't rang the bell just yet. It is a pretty calm star. The thin, dark, rope-like plasma filaments have stayed put as well. Nevertheless, these new spots in the filaments are worth monitoring. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.